Ace the Medical School Interview Tutorial by acemedicine.com Medical ethics is a very commonly questioned topic asked in medical school interviews. You are often required to analyse the moral dilemmas a doctor faces, allowing the interviewer to follow your train of thought and assess your values and judgement. A past interview question for example was, what would you do if your patient needed to take insulin to keep her diabetes under control, but she refused to? Another interview question was, what would you do if your patient desperately needed to have surgery to cure a condition but refused to as they were scared of the general anaesthetic? Both cases are asking, does the diabetic lady and the man who needs surgery have the mental capacity to refuse treatment? That is, are they competent? So can they understand the information you're telling them? Can they retain it, weigh it up and then can they communicate their decision? If they can, and they disagree with your clinical decision, then there is nothing more you can do except support them with their decision, minimise symptoms and maximise comfort. If they do not have the mental capacity to make the decision, you must talk to your seniors about the next step and always work in the best interest of the patient. Another past interview question was, what would you do if your 14 year old patient's parents will not consent for their child to have a blood transfusion during a major operation and the child wants it if she needs it. There are a few additional facts you should know. In the UK, the age a child is assumed to be competent is 16 years old and this child is only 14. However, she can be proven to be competent if she can understand the information, retain it, weigh it up and reach a conclusion. If she was then given all the necessary information and is not coerced into a decision, then she has the capacity to refuse or accept treatment, like the blood transfusion. In addition, even if she was not competent, the Children's Act was passed, so the doctor must work in the best interest of the child, which would entail the girl receiving the blood transfusion if she needed it. Another past interview question was, what is consent? This is a very important term, as doctors cannot treat or investigate a patient without their consent. Consent is when you gain permission to carry out any procedure on a patient, and three things are required to have valid consent. Competence, non-coercion, and information. Competence, as you know, is when the patient can understand the information you're telling them, they can retain it, weigh it up, and can communicate their decision. Non-coercion means the patient is not being forced or coaxed into a decision they aren't happy with. And information means they have the information they need to make an informed decision. These are all buzzwords you can use in the interview to explain your thought process. For example, you could say you would assess if the patient was competent, that is, they can understand the information they are told, retain it, weigh it up and communicate the decision. Then you would make sure they were not being coerced and would ensure they had all the information necessary to make the decision. This is how you obtain valid consent. For more free hints and tips on medical school interviews, the UK CAT and the UCAS form, visit www.acemedicine.com and download our free insider guide packed with useful advice from successful applicants. Thank you for listening and good luck.